MachineTutorials.com. Hey, what's up? This is St. Joe with MachineTutorials.com here with a quick video on the Machine Jam and how I like to use it in the composition stage. I know a lot of people are into the performance aspect of it, but for me, it really helps kind of get ideas down and try things that I normally wouldn't just because we have that quick access to the patterns and the scenes. So one thing I may do, let's say I have this basic idea. I like to go in and maybe rearrange the length of my pattern. So if I hold shift, and press solo, I can now adjust the length and I'll just play it that way. You can also adjust the length by hitting the buttons up here. That's one thing that I like to do. Another thing is I'll just quickly go in and actually duplicate a pattern and maybe take it into step mode and remove things. And again, that comes up with ideas that I wouldn't necessarily play on my own. Another thing I like to do is just come up with brand new ideas. So let's say I just start a new pattern here. Maybe I want to go to my chords and I'll just start trying things out there. So again, just kind of mix things up. Sometimes I come up with a brand new pattern. Sometimes I'll duplicate, erase just a specific part and play it in. Also, you can go in and quickly duplicate scenes. So if I want to duplicate, hold here, put it over here. Now I can just kind of arrange it. Maybe in this scene, I want that and that. And then in the other scene, maybe I want to go with this one and this one and just kind of play it like that. Which is really cool. Another thing that I like to do actually is sometimes I don't even build out scenes and patterns. Sometimes I just go in and kind of use the lock function to give me some different ideas. So let's erase these scenes and patterns and then I'll show you how that works. First thing I want to do is just create a lock function right here with everything playing. So I'll just hit lock. And if I were to go to shift and lock, I can actually see that it's right there. And then, so we'll say that's my default. Next, I'm gonna go over here and then I can kind of change some things up and come up with some new ideas. So let's get out and maybe, you know, mute some hi-hats or something like that. So I lock that. We go in, now we see we have two different things. So I can actually switch back and forth between these kind of automating my mutes and solos. So. Now you may be thinking that's really similar to scenes, but what really gets interesting is if we go in and start morphing between these. So if I go here and turn morphing on, and we'll just set it to half a bar so you can get the idea. Now it's gonna morph between these two states. Where things like this really get interesting, let's do another one. And maybe let's go out and let's say we want to go to, we'll go to our drums, but now I want to go to the control and I want to control this. So let's go over here and actually let's add like something like this.
So morph allows me to actually morph between different states and different parameters based on the time that I have set. We had our set to one and a half bar, but or half a bar. But if I set it to one bar, it's going to kind of be a little bit more gradual. So check it out. So really another dope way to come up with new ideas. It will be cool if they get to the point where we can actually record this stuff into the song. But even just, you know, getting a basic arrangement out, just a basic couple loops and then going in and messing with the lock and the more parameters, you can definitely come up with some new ideas. So again, for me, this is the way I like to use it just in the compositional stage, coming up with ideas. Of course, if you got any questions, let me know. Come check us out. This is St. Joe, MachineTutorials.com.